Talking by talking. No, Jupiter. In ballet, stories are told by dancing. Just like Swan Lake and the Nutcracker. <laughs> That's sour. Hey, where's the honey? Mom always keeps it right here. <laughs> I think I saw it somewhere, but I forgot. Well, let's look for it. <laughs> it's not here either. Um. <gasps> Orange cake! That's my favorite! <gasps> I know! Let's go look in um. the garden. But I didn't take the honey out there. But there are honeybees out there. And where there are honeybees, there's honey. Huh? Because they're the ones that make the honey, Jupiter. The honey. honeybees. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> Let's find a honeybee. <laughs> hey, where's Jupiter? <laughs> Come on, Jupiter. Let's ask the bees for some honey. Let's ask them from here. They can't come in here and sting us, can they? Honey bees are wild insects. They don't sting to be mean. Come on, I'll make sure you're safe. We won't even get that close to them. I promise. <laughs> A honeybee? Are you trying to tell me there's a honeybee? Out there? Where is it? We've got to ask her for some honey. Let me see the honeybee. Gotcha! I can't believe it. It's a little honeybee and it's eating my cake. Hurry, go ask him for some honey. Uh, too late. It flew away. I don't think it liked her cake. Let's get the cake and investigate. Do you think she left any marks? But mm. what if there's a bee out there? Not a single honey bee in the garden. I think I just saw another honey bee. <laughs> Hang on. That's not the same mm -hmm. honey bee. It's different. <laughs> This one has less stripes. Maybe it's just changed its clothes. Negative, Jupiter. It's a different bee. I'm sure. <laughs> More honeybees? <laughs> what? This we've got to see. <laughs> Feel. Ooh. Wow, it looks like they're dancing ballet. So pretty, but... Hey, 
did all of those honeybees end up here? I wonder if one of them told the other ones about my cake. Let's find out. I just gotta know what's happening here. What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just gotta know what this is all about. We just gotta figure out how all these honeybees hmm. ended up on my cake. Hmm. I've got it! Telepathy! Hmm. Tilly what? Telepathy. That's how hmm. aliens communicate. Huh? huh? Aliens! They talk without talking. They talk by thinking. Alien honeybees need all. And you know how we're going to find out if they can talk telepathically? Yeah. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Our experiment will work like this. If this little honeybee can really talk telepathically, it'll send a message to the other honeybees telling them it's trapped. Then some of its honeybee friends will come here and help it. Ah. Thank you, Clyde. Now all we have to do is wait. <sighs> it's taking so long. Yeah, I guess you're right. Let's let the honeybee go. Huh. Hmm. But if honeybees don't talk to each other telepathically, how do they talk if we can't hear them talking? How? <gasps> I know. What if this flight of the honeybees really was a dance? They could be telling each other a story, like in ballet. There's just one way for us to find out. Let's make believe that we're honeybees and fly to the beehive. Yay. It smells so good. It smells like... Honey. <laughs> hey, where did the honey come out? It looks like a dance floor. Amazing! Maybe they're going to have a birthday party. Oh, but we didn't bring a present. <gasps> it's waggle it's time! It's waggle time! Did someone say waggle time? I can waggle too. Watch. Now you, Clyde. She found a sugary treat. A piece of orange cake. This is amazing. This is the best experience ever. I brought some cake for you to taste. An orange cake that you just can't beat. Yeehaw! Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Do you see that? They're talking about my cake. They're not talking. <laughs> They're dancing. We're waggle dancing too. She's saying that the cake is nearby. It's down on the picnic table, in the garden to your right. You'll soon go back for more, uh-huh. She told them the exact location where my cake is by dancing. That is amazing, incredible, spectacular. Wiggle, 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 wiggle,
talking by dancing. Mm -hmm. Need all. <laughs> Jupiter, you have to figure out what Clyde and I are trying to tell you. <laughs> Yay! I know, I know. You want to know where the honey is. I'm going to dance my answer for you. Vroom, vroom, honk, honk. <laughs> vroom, vroom, honk, honk. A truck? The honey's in your little toy truck. <laughs> I wonder if the honey is yellow because honeybees are yellow. Or is it because of the pollen from the flowers? I wonder what kind of flowers bees like the most. Big ones? Little ones? Do all honeybees make honey? So many questions! It's an alien sub. Needle! Negative, Jupiter. My bright, beautiful, shining sun isn't green. It's... It's green! My sun oh. is green! How can my sun be green if I painted it with yellow paint? Maybe when you went to get the oh. yellow paint, you got the green paint instead. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Negative. I use the yellow paint. I'm sure. Maybe it's magic paint. Uh-huh. <laughs> no. Huh? See? I used yellow, and it's still yellow. It's not magic. Hmm, let me think. If it wasn't magic, then huh? how did my sun turn green? Huh? Very strange. That's strange. Very strange. My sun turned green. What was yellow turned green? What do you think could have happened to my picture? What's happening here? I've just got to know. What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just gotta know what this is all about. Hey, Luna, 
what you're doing. Mm. Well, let's see. If I got my sun to turn green once, I can do it again. And then maybe I can figure out what happened. Ah, hmm. uh, good idea. <gasps> Did you see that? It's magic. <laughs> <gasps> the blue water turns green! Ooh! <gasps> that means that... that... Ah! Amazing! The colors mix! Is that it? <gasps> That's it! When yellow mixes with blue, it turns green! That's so crazy! That's interesting! Very interesting indeed. I know. I got an idea. You think quackles will turn green? That's what we're <laughs> about to find out. Well, he didn't turn green. Hmm. Aw, it looked better blue. Hmm. <laughs> Why did the sun in my painting turn green, but the duck didn't? Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe it only works with pictures. I know. Let's make believe we're inside my painting. And then we can ask the sun what made it turn green. Yeah, yeah. Dido! Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> wow, we're inside your painting. The door will open. Why? Because I didn't draw the inside of the house, Jupiter. Aw, but I wanted an apple. Luna, you forgot to draw my bed. Look, Lula, there's your green sun. Boys, we better put on our sunglasses if we're gonna talk to the sun. Hey, Mr. Sun, over here. Could we talk to you for a minute? Hi. I thought the sun was cheery. He looks sad. Why are you so sad? I just don't feel much like myself today. I feel a bit, a bit green. I'm much more cheery when I'm yellow. But I painted you yellow. Really? I'm very sure. I don't know why you came out green. I came here to see if you knew why. Well, the yellow paint you used to make me mixed with the blue that you painted the sky. Since the paints were wet... Blue, blue, blue. Did somebody say blue? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Yellow, did I hear? Nobody said red, but I came instead. Ah, they're here. The primary colors. Primary colors? How do you do? I'm yellow. We know you. You're the colors of some melons, egg yolks, passion fruit. The sun? Uh, I mean, sorry, Ooh. Mr. Sun. Mm. Well, but where are green, orange, and purple? By hugging, we all mix, and by mixing, you'll soon see. When yellow hugs blue, then you get the color green. By hugging, we all mix, and by mixing, it is said, you get the color orange when yellow hugs red. By hugging, we all mix, and by mixing, we soon learn that when red hugs blue, then you get the color purple. Hey, yellow, it's me, blue. Come give me a hug. Together we make the most amazing green that's ever seen. Hey, red, it's yellow. Come here and give me a squeeze. Let's get together and make orange, please. Hey, blue, it's me, red. Come have a dance with me. We mix so well and make the most beautiful purple. Mix 
fix with a hug just by dancing and spinning. Take a closer look and I think you'll understand. Wow, they're so small. What are they? My pigments. They're what make me blue. And because they're so little, when I meet yellow and we hug, we make green. Ah, so when your little pigments meet, they make green. You've got it. Red and yellow turns into orange. Yellow and blue makes green. And red and blue makes purple. Yeah. I've got it. Yeah. I've really got it. <laughs> now I know how colors mix. Thank you, Mr. Blue. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Jupiter and Clyde would like to invite you to a very special show. We're going to present to you today the story, When Yellow Met Blue. Hi, Mom. I'm Yellow, and I have lots and lots of little bitty pimentos. He means pigment. Yeah. And I'm the color blue. And I also have pigments. Mr. Yellow, so nice to see you. He's saying that he is a color green. And that yellow and blue make the color green. By hugging, we all mix, and by mixing, you'll soon see. When yellow hugs blue, then you get the color green. By hugging we all mix, and by mixing it is said, you get the color orange when yellow hugs red. By hugging we all mix, and by mixing we soon learn, that when red hugs blue, then you get the color purple. Fantastic! Very good! Yellow and blue make green. Red and yellow make orange. Red and blue make purple. I wonder what uh -huh. color purple and green make. And what would happen if we mix all the colors? So many questions. On. Where have dinosaurs gone? Can the wind sing a song? Are there really black swans? Why do people yawn where the stars at dawn? The questions and adventures never end. La, la. La, la. Turn on. Where have dinosaurs gone? Can the wind sing a song? Are there really black swans? Why do people yawn where the stars at dawn? The questions and adventures never end. La 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 Luna, Luna, Luna. On the rings of Saturn. Sing, Luna, sing. Okay, Jupiter. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and did he have an umbrella? No. And watch the spider out. Out came the sun and dried out all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the sprout again. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the kitchen wall. Swoosh went the fan and made the spider fall. Up went the fan, no longer did it blow. So the itsy bitsy spider back up the wall to go. <laughs> 
Now what do you want to do? I don't know. Wow, look at that. Look how much stuff there's in the sky. Stars, planets, clouds, the moon. Just look at the moon. What a beautiful moon. I want to see the moon. I'm going to find a spaceship. Let me know if you find one. Found it. You found a spaceship? No, I found a funny looking planet that likes to hoop dance just like you. Yeah? Look, it's right there. Wow, I wonder what planet that is. I think we have to investigate this. You're right, Jupiter. And we should start right now. Let's go get our equipment. That's it. That planet is Saturn. So is that thing around it a who? No. Those there are the rings of Saturn. The amazing, perfect, beautiful rings of Saturn. Saturn must have really big fingers to have rings that gigantic. <laughs> Those rings look so smooth. I wonder if you can walk on them. Do you think so? <laughs> I have no idea. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could walk on Saturn's rings or skate on them? I love skating. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if you really can skate on the rings of Saturn. I just gotta know. What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Find out if you can skate on Santa's rings. Let me think. I know. I've got it. Let's make a little mini Saturn and then investigate. Neato. But how are we going to make a mini Saturn? Hmm. We're going to need my super colorful bouncy ball and hoops. Lots and lots of hoops. <laughs> Let's get started. Whoa. First, let's put a hoop around my super ball. Needle, now we have to step on here and see if we can walk on it. No, Jupiter, not yet. Our planet is going to huh. need more hoops before it's ready. Huh. We scientists have to be patient. <laughs> okay, our mini Saturn is all ready. Look how nice it is. Now, we just have to do a little test to find out if we can walk on the rings of Saturn or not. But how are we going to do that? I know. Let's all get on top of the hoops and try to walk. It'll be fun. <laughs> no, we're way too big for our mini Saturn. Here's what we'll do. Clyde, shine your light on our planet, please. It's like this. If Saturn's rings are anything like this first tube, it might be possible to walk on them. Look how strong it is. Exactly, Clyde. This hoop is really stuck on there. But if Saturn's uh -huh. rings are really more like uh -huh. the outer hoops here, uh -huh. well then, I don't think you would even uh -huh. be able to stand on them. I think we'd better go find somewhere else to uh -huh. skate, Luna. Negative, uh -huh. Jupiter. Scientists never give up. I know. Let's make believe that we're planets and talk to Saturn and find out in person. 
Yay, and maybe we can skate. So round, neat all. And I'm all round and furry. <laughs> Clyde, you look like a brown tennis ball. <laughs> <laughs> look, we can spin. <laughs> Saturn. Huh? Saturn is sleeping. At least he doesn't snore. Look, it looks like a skating rink, right, Luna? We'll have to be really quiet so we don't wake him up. Oh, how dare you disturb Saturn during nap time? What kind of planets are you? What are you doing here? Hello, Mr. Saturn. How do you do? Your rings are so beautiful. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> wow, so many rings. I have many, many rings, but you didn't answer my question. I'm Luna. And that's Jupiter, and that's Clyde. Do you mind if I take some pictures? No, no, no. Only the Hubble telescope takes my pictures. We don't really want pictures anyway. What we really want is to skate on your rings. We just want to skate. You what? You say you want to go skating on my rings? Impossible. Implausible. Don't you know that my rings aren't solid? They're not? How very interesting. It appears you don't know much about me, but that's okay. Allow me to introduce myself. One minute, please. In the solar system, more than dust, rocks, and ice, and they're all so nice, and all these rings you see orbiting around my waist, you'll be surprised to learn, they're nothing more than dust, rocks, and ice, and they're all so nice. and definitely can't skate on my rings. As you can see, they are not solid at all. I think you'll understand better if you take a closer look. Do you want to see? Yay! Yes, we do! Needle. Would you like a slow ride or perhaps a fast one? A, a fast, fast one! one. Now that we know all about the rings of Saturn, let's put on a show for a very special audio.
bump into each other too. Do you think Saturn can change its rings like we change bracelets? Do you think any other planets have rings? So many questions. Jupiter. Mm, okay. Pretty hot out there. Come inside, it's almost lunchtime. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> that smells delicious. What's for lunch, Dad? We've got rice, beans, chicken pot pie, and also sauteed kale. Mmm, sauteed snail. Do we have to eat it? <laughs> we always eat our vegetables. And it's not snail, Jupiter. It's called kale. Look how pretty and green kale is. Does it have a smell? Yeah, not yet. But after I add my special ingredients, mmm. I don't want any kale. A strong, brave pirate would eat anything. Mm -hmm. Do I have to eat all that kale there? Can I have the kale, please? <gasps> Where's the kale? What happened, Luna? Do you know, Clive? Uh -uh. There's only a little kale. The rest disappeared. Disappeared? Daddy put a whole big bunch of kale in the pot, but there's only a little bit left. You're right. Mm. It's just like a magic trick. I wonder why it disappeared. Maybe Daddy put something in the pot to make it shrink. You think? What happened to the kale? I just gotta know. What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just gotta know what this is all about. We just gotta find out what happened to that kale. But how? There's only one way for us to find out. Dad! Dad! Hmm? Daddy! Hmm, what is it, Luna? Can we help you cook lunch? 
Ah, thank you, Luna. Um, but I'm almost done cooking lunch. But I'm gonna bake a cake later, and you can help me then. How does that sound? Mmm, a cake! Yeah! Now what? How are we gonna find out what happened to the kale if we can't watch it cooking? We'll have to think of another way. <gasps> I've got it! Ta da! <laughs> wow, what's <laughs> that? Salt? Olive oil? <laughs> <laughs> and pepper! Daddy's special ingredients for the kale. If the answer is in the ingredients, then it must be uh -huh. here. Magic powder to make the kill disappear? Needle. <laughs> Scientists, it's experiment time. <laughs> Let's put some kale in our little pot and cook it in nature's oven. And now, the spices. <laughs> It's all still there. Maybe I got the wrong ingredients. Maybe Daddy's kitchen is magical. You think? Let's make believe we're ingredients and find out what makes a kale disappear. <laughs> Needle. Oil. Jupiter, you're the sea salt. Pirates! But where's Clyde? I'm the pepper shaker over here. Ay, ay, ay. But it sure does make me want to. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Dad, Daddy! <laughs> where's the kale? The temperature of the water is perfect today. Just perfect. Could somebody put the lid back on? All the steam is getting away. Look, there's a kale. Ah, hmm. some more salt. Dad, Daddy, it's me. Dad, Daddy, it's me. Pirate salt shaker, Jupiter. And now for some pepper. Oh. <laughs> Lunch is going to be a little spicy today. <laughs> now it's my turn. Daddy's going to use the olive oil. And now a touch of olive oil. Olive oil. It's olive oil time, ladies. Hi, Miss Kale Leaves. I was wondering, is it me, the olive oil, that makes you disappear? We're just kale leaves, kale leaves, we are. of all the water in its leaves, everything that's alive needs water to survive. But as kale cooks, it loses its water and it wilts. Me and my onion friends, we have water in our bodies too. Oh, that's it then. When the kale leaves sweat, 
they lose water, and when they lose water, they wilt. That's why it looks like they disappeared. So then all the kale that went into the pot is the same kale that came out. Luna, Jupiter, lunch is ready. Dad's calling us for lunch. <laughs> Kids, it's lunchtime. Mm, I'm starving. Hey, Jupiter, wait for me. <laughs> Mom, can I have more kale, please? It's so delicious. Mm, kale is really yummy. I love kale. As mm. soon as we finish lunch, Jupiter, Clyde, and I are going to put on a show for you. We are kale leaves. Yes, we are. We're just didn't cook when it was out in the sun for so long. Maybe the sun is too weak to cook kale. Or maybe the sun only makes animals and people warm. Wow, so many questions! <laughs> On, and I've got my flippers on. Come on, Jupiter. We've got so many fun things to do today. Let's go and water the garden. I'll turn the water on. Clyde will hold the watering uh -huh. can, and I'll fill it up. Then we can water the plants. But I also uh -huh. want to play with the water hose. <laughs> Negative, Jupiter. We can't waste water. We're going to fill up the watering can only just a little bit, and then we'll water the plants. Ready? Yay! I'm going to need my snorkel mask. What should we do now? Play tag in the rain? Mmm, I love how it smells after it rains. <laughs> Look, Clyde likes the smell, too. I wonder where it comes from. Does it come from the rain or from the ground? I don't smell anything. <laughs> Needle! What makes a 
that smell? What's happening here? I just gotta know! they show up, there's suddenly that it just rain smell. I wonder, maybe as the worms crawl and crawl and crawl, they make that smell. I wonder. But how are we going to find out if they really make the smell? <laughs> With a little experiment. Clyde, don't let that worm get away. The experiment is simple. Let's smell the dry dirt without a worm, the dry dirt with a worm, and this wet dirt here. And then we can find out where the smell comes from. Mm. Let's get started. Who wants to smell the piles of dirt? <coughs> Perfect. Scientists collide. Please smell the piles of dirt and tell us where the smell comes from. Mm. <coughs> Maybe the little worm took a bath. Huh? Does the smell come from the worm? Which is it, Clyde? <laughs> It's coming from the wet dirt with no worm. Mm -hmm. If that just rain smell comes from the wet dirt and not the worm, then why does it only smell like that when it's wet? I've got it! I know just what we need to do to find out what's happening here. Come on, Jupiter. Come on, Clyde. Mm. Radishes or beets? Mm. Radishes. I don't like beets at all. Okay, Jupiter, then let's make believe that we're all radishes. And let's get down in the dirt so that we can find out where this smell comes from. Are you in? Yeah! <laughs> Look, we're all radishes. I never imagined that I'd be a radish. Look! There's that same just rained smell down here, too. All I can smell is radishes. That's because radishes huh. smell like radishes. Who said that? I did. Ah, Mr. Radish. Do you know what causes that just rain smell? That delightfully yummy smell. That's the Earth's perfume. Earth's perfume? What's that? Perfume, Luna, like Mommy uses when she goes out with Daddy. Ah, the thread maker so nice for burrowing holes. Oh, look, a giant worm. He's not gigantic. Did you forget? We're radishes. Oh, that's right. Mr. Worm, this radish here would like to know exactly what Earth's perfume is. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah! Well, then we'd better explain the phenomenon behind that just rain smell for our little radish friends. Phenomenon? 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 That's right! Here underground, there are all sorts of creatures that are so small you can't even see them with just your eyes. They're called microbes. 
They release the smell into the dirt, and then when it rains, the smell goes up into the air. Mr. Radis, can I get a C major, please? Do, 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 do. What is that earthy smell that you know oh so well? After the rain fell, boom. It's the same thing that makes the beats taste oh so very neat. So neat, so neat, so neat. When the rain starts falling down, splashing down on the ground and all around, then you smell that just sweet smell. You can smell it in the air and smell it everywhere. Yummy just rain smell. Yummy just rain Just rain smell. And this smell can actually be created before or after the rain, but the rain makes the smell travel into the air. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the Earth's perfume is also what makes your beets have an earthy taste. Mm-hmm. So that must be why I never like eating beets. Yeah, but they taste so good, Jupiter. I just love beets. I think I like them now, too. And I still like radishes. It stopped raining. It's sunny. Let's go out and play. You guys are leaving already? Do you think that I can go with you? Of course. <gasps> Do you really think he came with us? Hmm? He did. Let's put together a show for Mommy and Daddy so that we can tell them all about the Earth's perfume. Can I be the worm? We really only need to have one worm, but okay. Before we rehearse, we'd better take Mr. Radish back home. Are we going to put him back in the ground? Hmm. That's right, Jupiter. It's time to put Mr. Radish back in Daddy's garden. <laughs> Gentlemen, allow me to present the wonderful, the fantastic Earth Perfume Show. Presenting Worm Jupiter and Worm Clyde. Time for our big number. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 